In a landmark event for Finland's naval modernization, the first pajama-class multipurpose corvette was launched at the Rama Marine Constructions, RMC, shipyard. This marks the initial transition of a vessel from the Squadron 2020 program into the water. Prior to the launch, the hull was maneuvered onto a specially adapted submersible barge, transported to the harbor, submerged, and relocated to a dry dock for the continuation of its outfitting phase. The launch event was attended by representatives from key stakeholders including the Finnish Defense Forces, the Navy, RMC, Saab, and Lloyd's Register, emphasizing the collaborative nature of the program. This class of warships is the most ambitious surface fleet expansion in Finland since the 1930s, eclipsing the nation's legacy vessels like Ilmarinen and Veinamoinen. The Squadron 2020 program, initiated in concept in 2008 and officially started in 2015, is set to replace a fleet of aging vessels, including Rama-class missile boats and Hamima-class mine layers. The signing of the 647.6 million euro shipbuilding contract with RMC in 2019 followed political delays and competitive evaluations for the combat systems, which culminated in Saab selection. Despite unforeseen delays caused by both the COVID-19 pandemic and the complexities of development, construction milestones have been steadily met. The steel for the first Corvette was cut in late October 2023, its keel laid in April 2024, and the hull was painted and finalized by year-end. Work on the second ship began ahead of projections in October 2024, with keel laying following in May 2025. The construction of the remaining two vessels is scheduled for later in 2025. RMC and its subsidiary RMC Defense OI are spearheading the construction of all four corvettes. To meet the demands of the program, the shipyard underwent significant upgrades, including a new multi-purpose hull, updated steel manufacturing lines, and improved launching infrastructure. These facilities ensure uninterrupted year-round production and comply with NATO-level safety requirements. The entire program is estimated to generate over 3,600 person years of employment within Finland. True to Finnish naval tradition, the new class is named after Finnish regions, with Pojanma reflecting the Ostrobothnia region. However, the official names of all four ships remain undisclosed. The Pojanma class vessels span 117 meters in length and have a beam between 16 and 16.5 meters. Each has a displacement of around 4,300 tons and can support a crew of up to 73. Designed for operations lasting up to 14 days, they boast a range of 3,500 nautical miles and are reinforced for Baltic Sea ice conditions, featuring an ice-strengthened hull rated at commercial class 1A. The vessels also integrate Acre Arctic's advanced ice load monitoring system and propulsion elements. Propulsion employs a cod lag system, combining a General Electric LM2500 gas turbine with four-man diesel generators, totaling 28 megawatts. Twin shafts and bow thrusters enable speeds exceeding 26 knots. Anti-submarine operations benefit from sound-insulated diesel generators, reducing noise signatures for stealth. Combat capabilities are managed through Saab's 9LV system, linked with a suite of sensors and weaponry. Surveillance functions are handled by Sea Giraffe AESA and 3D radars installed on a modular mast. Fire control is guided by Dual Cirrus 200 directors, and sonar detection is covered by Kongsberg and Patria systems. Communication with Allied forces is streamlined via Saab's Tactical system. The Corvette's armament is formidable a 57mm Bofors Mk3 naval gun, dual Saab track fire stations, and four mass decoy systems. Anti-ship power comes from eight Gabriel V missiles, chosen over several Western alternatives. Air defense is supported by 32 RIM, 162 ESSM Block II missiles housed in Mk41 vertical launch cells. Each vessel can also deploy up to 100 naval mines and features the Saab Torp 47 lightweight torpedoes. Aviation capabilities support both manned helicopters and unmanned systems. Versatility is at the heart of the Pojama class design. Each ship is capable of engaging in anti-surface, anti-air, and anti-submarine warfare, while also performing mine laying, surveillance, command and control, and sea lane protection.
Their configuration allows for standalone operations in challenging Baltic environments as well as integration with NATO missions. The design also incorporates radar and acoustic signature reduction features, and supports precision fire support for ground targets. The total budget for Squadron 2020 has risen from the original estimate of 1.2 billion euros to approximately 1.45 billion euros, covering full construction, weapon systems, and operational readiness. Additional funding of 104 million euros has been earmarked for continued expenses through 2027. The scale and scope of the program have sparked public discourse, with some questioning the ship's size and strategic focus. Finnish Navy leadership has defended the design as a tailored solution for regional defense, balancing multi-mission demands within a single platform. The Pojanma-class corvettes are scheduled to be commissioned between 2027 and 2029, with expected service lifespans extending into the 2050s, ushering in a new era of Finnish naval power.